Hi guys! Welcome back to Passive Cash Flow. On this channel, we've delved into self-care and healthy habits extensively. By now, I'm confident you're well-versed in the essentials. The key practices you should follow, such as staying hydrated, exercising regularly, and meditating. Today, I want to introduce some new practices and habits you can try for your self-care and holistic health. I'm not saying to skip the basics, but sometimes we just want to try something new and change things up. So let's get into the eight holistic health habits you should try. Habit one, incorporate a daily face massage into your routine for tension relief, lymphatic drainage, and improved circulation. Begin by applying moisturizer and oil to your skin to ensure smooth gliding. Start with the brow area, gently massaging in outward motions. Close your eyes and take deep breaths as you release tension in this area. Next, use your knuckles to target points around your eyes, focusing on the orbital bone. Pay attention to any tension held in your jaw, using your thumb and index finger to massage from your chin to the back of your jaw. Notice any knots or tightness and breathe through it, allowing the tension to release with each exhale. After these face massages, apply light pressure down the sides of your face and neck to promote lymphatic drainage. For a refreshing lift, massage your cheeks upwards from the bottom corner of your mouth to your temples. Repeat this about 10 times on each side, then finish with gentle downward strokes for lymphatic drainage. You can incorporate these massages into your morning or evening skincare routine, whichever works best for you, to help relieve stress and promote overall well-being. Habit 2. Whole body tapping is a healing technique I've practiced for a year. It involves tapping different areas of your body to promote physical and energetic well-being. Start by making fists and tapping two inches below your belly button, known as your second chakra. Take deep breaths as you tap to enhance circulation and energy flow. Move on to tapping your solar plexus, a soft area below your rib cage. This spot is sensitive and may reveal stored emotions. Continue tapping your chest, focusing on your heart chakra, and then your shoulders, where stress often accumulates. Finally, tap other areas of your body, like your back and legs, to release tension. This practice helps you become more aware of emotional and physical tension so you can begin healing. Habit 3. Experiment with crafting nutritious teas at home. Instead of resorting to your usual coffee or store-bought tea, consider brewing a blend using fresh, wholesome ingredients. Take the time to explore the diverse array of plants and their respective health benefits. There are numerous superfoods or adaptogens available which are essentially plants known for their positive impacts on health. For an effortless boost of vitamin C, simply add a squeeze of lemon to your hot water or tea. Today, I'm preparing a tea infused with honey, ginger, and goji berries. Each of these components offers unique health advantages. Furthermore, I find the resulting blend to be delightfully warm, sweet, and calming. Begin with ingredients that resonate with you, and let your experimentation expand from there. The realm of plant-based remedies offers a vast and fascinating landscape to explore. Some healthy teas I would like to suggest to you. One, green tea, known for its antioxidant properties and potential to aid in weight management. Two, chamomile tea, often used for its calming effects and potential to improve sleep quality. Three, peppermint tea, may aid digestion and alleviate symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome, IBS. Four, turmeric tea contains anti-inflammatory properties and may help alleviate joint pain and improve skin health. Five, hibiscus tea, rich in antioxidants and may help lower blood pressure and cholesterol levels. Habit four, mindful eating involves fully engaging with your mealtime experience, allowing yourself to be in the moment and at ease while you dine. It means steering clear of hurried or distracted eating, whether it's munching on the move or scrolling through your phone. When your attention is divided, you're prone to overeating, as you're less tuned in to your body's signals of fullness. Instead of being lost in thought, focus solely on your meal, 
relishing each bite and the sensations it brings. Opt for mealtimes when you're calm rather than rushed or stressed, enabling proper digestion. I'm intrigued by your eating habits. Are you a mindful eater, or do you often find yourself multitasking while dining? No judgment here, I'm guilty of it too. Share your thoughts below, as I'm genuinely interested to learn more. Habit 5. Experiment with dry brushing. Dry brushing involves using a natural fiber brush to gently stroke your entire body's skin in a specific pattern. Proponents claim it stimulates the lymphatic system, exfoliates the skin, boosts circulation, and aids in detoxification. Although it may seem unusual at first, you'll likely find it surprisingly invigorating once you try it. Begin at your feet and gradually work upwards, using short upward strokes with gentle pressure. It should feel more like a soothing massage than anything painful. After brushing your legs, progress from your midsection towards your heart. Then, proceed to your hands and arms, avoiding the face. Following dry brushing, a shower can help wash away the dead skin cells. Habit 6. Abhyanga or Self-Oil Massage Indulge in the ancient tradition of Abhyanga, a self-oil massage rooted in Ayurveda. Unlike simply applying lotion, this ritual involves generously massaging your entire body with nourishing oils like coconut or sesame. Beyond mere skincare, Abhyanga is a sacred act of self-love and care, an opportunity to honor and cherish your body. Beyond its physical benefits, which include enhancing circulation and easing tension, consider incorporating aromatherapy into your massage to promote relaxation and uplift your mood. Additionally, infuse mindfulness into the practice by focusing on each stroke and breathing deeply, allowing yourself to fully immerse in the experience. Dedicate a tranquil 15 to 20 minutes to Abhyanga a few times a week, creating a serene space to nurture your body, mind, and spirit. Habit 7. Gentle Yoga The daily habit of practicing yoga is an essential part of a healthy and balanced lifestyle. Every morning, I allocate a moment to connect with my body and mind through yoga movements. Engaging in yoga daily not only helps me maintain physical health, but also allows me to release tension and balance my mood. In my daily practice, I typically start with a series of gentle movements to kickstart the day. These may include stretching exercises, flexible poses, or even a series of deep breathing exercises to cleanse both body and mind. I focus on breathing evenly and deeply, combined with fundamental movements to expand and strengthen muscles. From the basic movements, I transition to more complex poses, such as those enhancing strength and flexibility. During the practice, I concentrate on creating a balance between body and mind, keeping the mind calm and focused. Finally, I conclude each session with a peaceful meditation practice, often incorporating slow-moving exercises to soothe both body and mind, along with breathing techniques to reduce stress and induce relaxation. The daily yoga routine has become an integral part of my life, bringing flexibility, strength, and tranquility to both body and mind. Habit 8. Incorporate music into your life. Music therapy has been proven effective in reducing symptoms of anxiety, depression, and stress, while also improving sleep quality and enhancing feelings of happiness. Therapy sessions typically take place in a safe and supportive environment where participants can comfortably express their emotions through music. For many people, music therapy is not only a healing tool, but also a means to connect with others and with themselves on a deeper level. In this way, music therapy plays a crucial role in enhancing overall quality of life and health. We've reached the end of the video. I hope you found something here that inspired you to try something new. You deserve to take care of yourself. You deserve complete health and wellness. You deserve to shine at your brightest. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Sending you lots of love. Goodbye.